The first place of printing outside of Mainz was probably Bamberg. In Bamberg, Albrecht Pfister established a print workshop in the late 1450s, where he printed the B36, a 36-line Bible. In addition, he published, among other things, one of the most popular medieval fable collections, Der Edelstein by Ulrich Bohner, in 1461 which is also considered to be the first printed book in German language. Pfister was also the first to begin adding printed illustrations and woodcuts to his prints. In Strasbourg, Johannes Mentelin set up a printing workshop in the late 1450s. Strasbourg is thus one of the first two places where the new technique of printing was used. Here Johannes Mentelin printed a 49-line Bible that was already replicated in 1460. With this, he probably set up his workshop in Strasbourg at the end of the 1450s, similar to Albrecht Pfister in Bamberg. In Strasbourg, Johannes Gutenberg had already done important preliminary work for the development of letterpress printing before he perfected his invention in Mainz. Fust and Schoeffer took over the original Mainz printing workshop after their separation from Johannes Gutenberg. Their apprentice, Ulrich Zell, went from Mainz to Cologne in the early 1460s and opened the city's first printing house there. There is documentary evidence of his presence in Cologne only in 1464, but it is possible that he set up his printing workshop somewhat earlier. Other important German printing locations in the 15th century were Augsburg and Nürnberg. The first printer in Augsburg was Johannes Zeiner from 1468 and in Nürnberg Johannes Sensenschmidt from 1469. The economically powerful Golden Augsburg, home to one of the major trading families such as the Fuggers, soon developed into the most important printing location for German language books. The equally important trading city of Nuremberg owed its important position in the book market primarily to Anton Kuberger, the first major entrepreneur in the book printing and trade business. From 1417, the spread of the art of printing in Germany accelerated abruptly. Between 1470 and 1480, the number of German printing places increased from 17 to 121. At the same time, print runs also increased from an initial average of 100 to 200 copies to 400 to 500 copies, with peaks of 1000 copies. Around 1480, the first change in the history of the new technique of letterpress printing occurred. Around this time, the shape of books changed. The first books printed from the invention of printing around 1450 up to the end of 1500 are called incunabla. The date has been set by researchers and is intended to show the special nature of the earliest prints, because they are characterized by their optical imitations of the manuscripts. Only gradually did printers discover the new possibilities of book design and the printed work emancipated itself from its manuscript model. The development began around 1480. In addition, printers increasingly had to develop new content in order to do justice to the necessary broader cycle of addresses. Parallel to these changes, sales stalled as the rapid growth of the trade was not matched by a corresponding increase in the number of customers. The technique of letterpress printing spread in Europe initially mainly through German printers on the move. Parallel to the printing of books, the trade with its products, the printed books, also spread. Early on, the book trade tapped into the existing trade routes and sales markets, such as the last long-distance trade fairs, trading centers and Hanseatic cities, important for trade and thus also for the dissemination of knowledge about the new technology of book printing, were the traffic routes, especially the old long-distance trade routes such as the Via Regia, the King's Road, or the Via Imperii, the Imperial Road.